Yo, what's going on, guys? Your boy Uchan. Of course, we're back again, once again, with another review. And yeah, I know elephant in the room. The cha the room changed up a little bit, but the reviews are well. Hopefully, they won't just stay the same. They hopefully improve with the the look of everything and the feel. Of course, today we're gonna be talking about Power Rangers number six. It's funny because literally. I feel like it was only a week ago and I was saying Mighty Morphin 6, but as you already know, and if you didn't know, these issues coincide, they're interconnected with each other and they're basically happening a week apart. So if you haven't, and I should have been saying this all this time, but please guys go ahead and support the official releases because I do. So we're gonna keep this one short and sweet and review and give you guys my thoughts of this month's Power Rangers number six. Now the issue does start off with Ecliptor giving the Rangers, well, <laughs> the Rangers, it's actually just Trini and Draken and Eleven and their big old friendly cat Yale. The backstory that I'm definitely believing is a lie. And obviously we are officially confirmed that it is definitely a lie of a story because when he mentions that the Power Rangers took out her family, we actually see that it's like the Psychonauts, I think. Well, is that what they were called in space? I, I literally don't remember. Food for thought. I literally call every single underling or like just group of bandits fighting with, you know, whoever the big bads are, putties. I call everything putties. If I don't remember it, you're a putty, you're a putty, you're a putty, you're a putty. So obviously they're just trying to recapture Astronema, Zach and Trini. Like I said, Ecliptor is telling them the story, but of course Trini doesn't really buy into it because of the whole Power Rangers killing her family kind of thing. And it's cool because we do see a little bit of a different perspective from Ecliptor's side as far as his story goes. And it does pay a little bit of homage already to the Astronomer one shot that just came out last month. So I did a full review on that. So go ahead and check that out once you're done watching this. So they have to come together, come up with a plan, infiltrate the SPD as they're making their way towards some other area and recapture them while trying to fight them off at the same time. Now, of course, with any purpose, there's always going to be some kind of conflict in this month conflict was probably i will have to go with the fact that astronomer still really is having a hard time trying to understand where zach and jason now are coming from this time around we see zach sleeping which rightfully so i mean they're in jail what else are you gonna do it was jason's turn to have some back and forth dialogue with astronomer and astronomer is really set in her ways with trying to convince the rangers that she is going to kill them and that they are the evil ones and she's going to literally you know give it back to them how they did to her parents and you know she's just very lost and confused and it kind of sucks but funny enough jason was actually just kind of like giving in to everything that she was saying almost like saying like okay well if you're gonna do it there's one less thing i have to worry about if you do kill me i was like hmm that's very interesting character development for jason if you want to call it that and obviously the other conflict is obvious don't even have to say this but the whole plan was just getting to the spd and actually retrieving what they're there to retrieve jason zach and astronomer so of course the resolution here is obvious that by the end of the issue after some fighting and some intermingling with the spd cadets people personnel they're not rangers but they were noted that they fight like power rangers which is alluding to how they maybe not maybe they don't have power rangers yet on spd maybe they're just kind of like organization of you know exactly that they're space patrol delta and they just go around the galaxy in space just making sure that there's no crimes being committed and whatnot maybe after these events maybe they'll have some power rangers i'm sure they will but the resolution of course is that they do end up rescuing astronema and Zach and Jason. Now, I guess you can consider this a resolution that when Astronema was given the opportunity to literally shoot Jason point blank range, she didn't. As a matter of fact, she actually saved Jason and used a line that he said on her earlier in the issue, which I think was really cool and it kind of came full circle within just one issue. So very good storytelling and story writing. I really do appreciate that. Ryan Parrott, you are a god. Now, what did we learn from this issue? So aside from everything that kind of just wraps up and summarizes the entirety of the issue, it was a pretty straightforward issue. Wasn't really anything too crazy to set up, but there were a couple things I do want to mention that I would like to share with you guys to keep a close eye on and possibly this could mean a bunch of different things. So amidst the fight between Ecliptor, Trini, and the SPD, there was a little scuffle between Ecliptor and 
and I forget what this dude's name is, but I'm showing you an image right here where they literally seem to know each other. And it seems like Ecliptor understands the SPD a little too well and it's funny because in turn that dude that he's fighting against actually says ecliptor's real name and that's why i was like whoa was ecliptor once a part of the spd because he understood like oh there was like a c and a d squad and he was like kind of throwing shade and saying like oh maybe you're like good enough to be in either of those ranks but man i was just like wow i never would have thought of that i mean imagine it's crazy because you could anybody could assume that their names are just as is but not nah, man like astronomer's real name is corone formerly k when she was you know abducted and brainwashed to think certain things when really she's being lied to her entire life and the fact that ecliptor could have very well had a past before all of this dark specter type of lifestyle and whatnot i mean we don't even really understand and know how ecliptor got into this and again i can't say this enough and i love to drive this home the comics really do the best kind of job to really bring home and just expand the palette expand the universe and make us wonder and imagine things that we've never imagined before so now here's one other thing added to the list did ecliptor used to be a part of the spd the other takeaway that I definitely want to bring up is the fact that we actually, for the first time in a while, are now going back to seeing the Imperials. Now, this is probably a new Imperial. We've never, I don't think we've seen this one before, but this is how the, the issue ended. And man, this design is freaking nuts. This is looking like they're going to have a really, really tough time, probably tougher than before, dealing with, with this kind of a threat. Now, last, before we go, you guys know that I love to give you guys my predictions. So as far as my predictions for this month's issue i'm going to have to share with you guys that i'm predicting that i am gonna be right with ecliptor having some kind of a past with the spd if i was reading that into that correctly i really do think that that would play more of a grander role in scheme of things in the long term especially given the fact that we've known ecliptor as kind of like a household name in power rangers as in my opinion and i don't think this is just my opinion i'm not even gonna lie power rangers in space is to this day one of the best and greatest seasons of power rangers and the fact that the comics are literally echoing that in the i mean we literally have been only seeing Mighty Morphin, Mighty Morphin, Mighty Morphin, Mighty Morphin, and look at the next big team to get any kind of love and representation. To this very day, I still hold it very true that Psychopath is still the best standalone graphic novel right now. And the fact that we already have an astronomer and more flavors of space involved before we even get to Zeo, before we see the alien rangers, and we, we're, we're shifting in the turbo, I think that it literally stands on its own, that it is, it is a given that giving more love and more attention to things out of the Power Rangers in space storyline and involving it with the Mighty Morphin and now Power Rangers is godlike. And one last prediction, I really do feel like Draken is gonna probably pull something. And I, I, I mean, I'm not really sure, be, like exactly. Like I should just go and say that I'm unsure exactly what Draken's gonna do. He looks like he's always scheming, and at any given moment, it just seems like he is going to just turn on the Omega Rangers at some point in time. But as far as that goes, I want to now know what you guys thought of this month's issue in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter. All that good stuff. Supporting links will be in the description as always. And if you guys are looking for more comic reviews, definitely check out a few that I've already done um, on my channel right now. Take care of yourselves. May the power protect you. Keep it locked loaded right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, stay inside. I'll see y'all next time.